Ruida is one of the most popular controllers for laser cutters and engravers. In this introductory tutorial video, we will look at the control panel, the screen, and the information on it, all the buttons and what they do. This is Watson. We've been manufacturing CNC laser machines since 2003. The latest version of the Ruida controller at the time of recording this video is 6445. This is the version we equip our Watson machines with, and this is what we're going to talk about today. This controller comes in two versions, G and GZ. We prefer the G version as it allows us to equip the machines with a camera for contour recognition if required. The control panel has a 5-inch color LCD screen and a number of buttons below and to the right of it. The screen is divided into several zones. Most of the screen on the left is taken up by the image of the file being processed. The process is displayed in real time. The top right of the screen shows the name of the file, the speed and power parameters, and the current coordinates. In the bottom right-hand corner is a window showing the parameters for each layer, which can be changed directly from the machine panel. At the bottom of the screen is an information panel that displays the process sequence number, machine status, runtime, computer connection status. Note that when locked, all keys are disabled and you must enter a password to unlock them. To the right of the screen is a keypad for entering numerical data. Below the numbers are buttons for moving the laser head and navigating through the menus. The Z up and Z down keys are used to operate the lift table or autofocus. The U plus and U minus keys rotate the rotary unit or conveyor table if connected. The central button allows you to switch from continuous mode to interval mode. Continuous mode is always the default in which the machine moves the laser head as long as the movement button is pressed. Interval mode moves the head a predetermined distance and is disabled by default. It must be set up to work. Press Menu, Functions, Manual Setting, Read. Enter the value in millimeters using the numeric keypad and press Right. Great! Let's move on to the buttons under the screen and start with the most commonly used ones. The Enter key is used to select items and confirm actions within menus, while the Escape key is used to exit menus and pop up windows and cancel actions within them. Next, let's look at the buttons in the order in which they are used in the workflow. The work begins with loading and preparing a file. Press File. The menu on the left will show the files already in the machine's memory. You can select them using the up and down buttons. The internal memory has a capacity of 128 megabytes, more than enough to store hundreds or even thousands of layouts. If you want to copy a file from a USB stick to the machine, select the U-Disk Plus button. First, press Read U-Disk File. Then select the file you want from the left-hand menu and press Copy to Mem. By the way, when connecting, do not confuse the USB input for the flash drive with the USB input for the computer. They are not interchangeable. You can see how to download and run files from your computer on our Watson Technical Channel. Once the file is loaded, you can adjust the speed and power settings directly on the controller. If you are at the start screen, press Enter, select the level you want, and press Enter again to change the settings. During machining, the power and speed buttons allow you to change the speed and power. Outside the machining process, the speed button allows you to set the speed of the working head and the power button changes the pulse power. The pulse button is set for pulses, most commonly used for machine alignment. By default, the duration of the pulse is equal to the duration of the press, but you can set the duration in milliseconds in the menu settings. So let's get back to the process. The file is already loaded. The settings are set. Now you need to select the point from which the work will start. This point is called Origin. Move the work head to the desired point and press Origin. The machine will remember the coordinates and now the work will start from that point. To check how much area the file processing will cover, click Frame. 
Note that this function specifies the rectangular perimeter at the endpoints, not the exact outline of the future product. The focus button makes it easy to adjust the focus if your machine is equipped with an autofocus workhead. Otherwise, you will need to set the focus manually before working. A lot of advanced settings are hidden under the menu button. We'll talk about that in one of our next videos. But for now, let's get to work. The Start Pause button starts and pauses processing of the selected file. You can change the settings during the pause. If you press this button again after the pause, the machine resumes machining from the point where it stopped. In this way, it is convenient to make a test machining with a selection of parameters so that the difference between the results can be clearly seen. When the stop button is pressed, the current job is completely interrupted and the machine returns to the starting point. There is also an emergency stop button on the machine body. The reset button restarts the controller which may be necessary if an error occurs. If you have any questions about equipment selection, please contact the Watson managers or write in the comments section. We look forward to seeing you in the next videos.